All right, five, four, three, two, one. Right on time. All right, pencils down, everybody in a posture of proficiency. All right, so I'm going to read you guys about a track. Why do we track the text? Anybody, uh, George? To increase our fluency. To improve our fluency. What is the connection between fluency and, well, first of all, what is fluency? Imani. Fluency is how fast Okay, it's our, our rate of reading. And what's the connection? They want, boy, you must have had your Wheaties today. What's the connection between fluency and comprehension? The faster you read, the more you, tra you comprehend. So that's why we are constantly tracking the text. The the is the implicit or not directly expressed. As, As a reader, reader, you need to infer or guess the thing to, to make, make it a reasonable, reasonable guess. guess. You have to consider certain clues. The elements in the chart can serve as clues. Okay, fabulous. Discuss with your partner. Does the title that you knew give you a clue to the hint? A uh, uh, hint to the thing. Discuss it with your partner. Yes or no? The chino might be. The chino might be an oversized book. Like we don't know. They say like the chino. That sounds like. A bizarre creature. You'll never know. In the first for ten, I can then leave. When you look at me, but it won't be like the picture in the background. I didn't have the background. What about what about what about it was a man in a Halloween costume just running through West Ham? Alright, I heard Jayla with some spirited conversation. Tell me what you thought, Jayla. Um, I thought. Before you read the Chinu, it shows the background information by the picture, so you can just read that in it. Very good. That's why tipping is so important. So discuss with your partner what's the main conflict in the story that you knew. Really think about it. I'm gonna give you two minutes on that. The main, the main conflict is uh, the Chinu coming to the thing and the girl oh, helping the Chinu get back to the old man and yeah. uh, he'll mess like her. All right, here we go. Five, time, four, three, two, one. Tanaya, what would you, Tanaya, haven't talked to her today. Tanaya, what would you think the conflict of the Chinu is? I think it was the extra conflict because it was a person versus the situation and Noka was the person and the Chinu was the situation. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on. Tell me what you mean about the Chinu being the situation. The Chinu being the situation bad because he came he came to her camp place, was about to eat her, but then she was clever enough to say grandfather and he was like uh, he said grand he said grandfather I mean yeah grandfather he was like I got a granddaughter and that's when she said yes you don't remember me okay good all right give that some love that is excellent but you knew definitely be in the situation so that's a conflict what lesson does she learn by resolving the conflict all right what? I think the life lesson was to always think outside the box and to like outsmart people. Did you have academic winnings today? <laughs> <laughs> That's a double. Here we go, now here we go, hold on. We have these questions to kind of guide you determining what the theme is, but it always has to be based on? Sexual evidence. It always has to be based on? Sexual evidence. Okay, good. What we need to do now is to look at the details that support your theme. And we're gonna do this together. What's the theme? Anybody yell it out? Like, yell out. It's the life lesson the author wants to convey to the Okay, good. So it's a life lesson. All right. So then we identify the theme. What's the next thing that we have to do? What's the next thing that we have to do? Theme state. Uh, <laughs> Imani, I had not taught you to do. What's the next thing that we have to do? Textual okay, good. So, what textual detail can we find to support the fact that to support this theme statement tonight? 
What did Noka do? She kept, uh, she kept trying to run away, but, but she said it was no point because the Chino was going to keep holding her back. Okay. And then they, oh, okay, one at a time. All right, so here we go. So Noka stood her ground. Somebody else, give me another piece of textual evidence. Aaron. Um, Aaron. 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 Basically her. She pretended to be his granddaughter to prevent harm to herself to her brother, 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 and her brother. And her brother. Right, to herself and her brothers. Excellent. Uh, first of all, let's give all of ourselves some love. And everybody else. That was 